This is the fried man Mark Carter himself coming at you with the Mac Attack for Extreme Rules 2016. And uh, overall, it's a very predictable match. In fact, I correctly predicted every single match before the finish. At the start of each match, I was like, okay, this guy's going to win, this guy's going to win, and they all did. Okay. I only uh, caught half of the pre show. So I don't know if there were any other matches other than the Corbin versus Ziggler match. And uh, the right guy went over, but the match overall sucked. I thought it was a blah match. The Usos versus the club on the main card was also a blah match. The right team won the club. Uh, let's see here. We got Kalisto versus Rusev. And this was probably, yeah, it was a better match than the first two. The right man went over. Rusev won. And, uh, but, you know, nothing spectacular. I was just glad Rusev won. I'd have been pissed if Kalisto had won. Uh, the New Day versus the Vaude Villains. And uh, the New Day won. But uh, I was kind of wanting to see the Vaude Villains win, to tell you the truth. Uh, the New Day is starting to wear thin with me. And I'm... You know, losing interest. Uh, their act is uh, getting old. Um, then we had the best match of the night. The best match of the night was the Fatal Four Way, involving The Miz, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Cesaro. And uh, again, The Miz won. I knew he would. Uh, I really wanted to see Cesaro win. So what happens, naturally, he took the pin. <laughs> so uh, then we had probably the longest and most boring match of the night. The match I cared least about and could give the least fuck to was Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho. And while I love Chris Jericho, I just didn't give a fuck about this match. It was boring. And uh, Dean Ambrose won the match, but... Uh, to my, uh, to my dissatisfaction, the flower pot was not introduced in this match. And I figured that would factor into the finish of the match. And it did not. Uh, then we had the Charlotte versus Natty match for the Women's Championship. Charlotte wins. Not surprising. But what was surprising was, uh, oh, what's her face showed up. You know, the, the big tittied girl. That they're pushing now. Uh, anyway, so uh, Charlotte wins. Long story short. And then in the most predictable match of the night, Roman Reigns, he defeated AJ Styles. And uh, it was okay match. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious that Roman got booed out of the building. Uh, he had Roman sucks chants throughout it. And even after delivering a massive... Uh, uh, a massive, a massive backflop flip thingy to AJ Styles onto the announce tables, which looked spectacular, I might add. The crowds chanted, "You still suck," and yeah, he does. So, uh, long story short, Roman Reigns goes for the victory, and of course, the club and the Usos were involved. But uh, Roman picked up the win, and uh, Seth Rollins came out. And uh, probably the only thing good about the entire match was seeing Seth Rollins standing tall with the victory because he never lost his match. He never lost his title. But, uh, yeah, I thought uh, Extreme Rules 2016 was totally skippable. I watched with hopes that something would change, would be better. They keep pounding it into our heads that this is the new era and I, I call it a bunch of new bullshit because it's the same shit we've been seeing. Ain't nothing new about it. There's some fresh faces, but it's still the same predictable old bullshit. Um, so, on a rating scale, uh, it does not get a fully erect thumb. Uh, it's not completely limp. Uh, it's not in the middle. It's kind of, but I don't know. I got a half limp thumb. Uh, so, uh, 
just just not impressed with Extreme Rules 2016. But this has been the Fried Man, Mark Carter himself, with a Mac attack. And until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. This is.